from school one day, typical 12 years of age, short pants, leather school bag on my back, walking home and I see this green truck parked in our neighborhood and it had Sydney Taylor racing on it. I go to my dad who sold vegetables in a, in a corner grocer shop uh, and I said, there's a truck back there. And he says, the lady who lives there, she buys her groceries here. It's her brother's truck. And at seven o'clock tonight, you can see the racing car. We go back, they open the doors and here's a beautiful white Brabham BT8 with a green stripe and a Irish shamrock on it. And my dad says, it's racing in a place called Dunboyne tomorrow. Dunboyne was a little village on the outskirts of Dublin city. And my dad says, I'll take you to see it race. And I remember the color and the noise and the smell and everything about it captivated me that I told my dad right there and then, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a professional racing driver. I go to Derek McMahon. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold the tears back, telling him, look, I can win these races. We have to go to the next uh, Formula One support race in Austria. So I go out and stick it on the pole right beside Nelson Piquet. So we're sitting on the pre-grid. I'm sitting there, you know, just getting your mind ready. And I see this older gentleman with a sort of a shuffle and a limp. And he walks across the front of my car, goes over to Big D who had his foot up on the front tire. And he leans up to Big Derek and he says something to him. And Big D comes down to the cockpit. He says, that fella there said, if you win this race, he'd put you in a Formula One car by the end of the year. I said, who was it? He said, it was a fella called Sidney Taylor. Now think back when I was 12 yeah. years of age coming home from school, I see the truck. And all these years later, he's the one that's gonna put me in a Formula One car if I won. Wow, that's, how's, how's that for a full circle there? <laughs> I, go, I, I go out in the race. PK and Daly is the same as South and Daly at Silverstone, but PK's leading and I'm all over him. The very last oh, corner, you. PK breaks about two or three feet too late. I see him, not opposite lock, but enough lock off just to correct it. Left a little lane inside. I go down the inside, bang, went on, never saw PK again, won it. And within a short time, I was testing a Formula One car at Goodwood. That made just an amazing story. 